Oh, hey there, I didn't see you there. Do you want to find out how to make this really cool hot tub to invite your friends over? Just stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rake. And in this video, I'm going to show you 12 more new build ideas for your survival slash creative world. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. And yeah, let's just get straight into this. In this, uh, starting this video right off, we got this cool little raft that uh, I built, which is really fun if you just use campfires, because campfires, when you pop water bucket on top of them, it turns them out like this. That's the only way you get them like that. So you have to have a water bucket and another empty bucket to empty the water off. And that's it. It's really simple, really. Just water on top of the campfire to turn it off and done. I just added a couple of barrels here for a bit more stuff on top of this raft because if not it's really empty and a compass and to build the sails here all it is is some banners that are attached to the fences gate the fence gate hit here and on top of the fence gate all i got is some spruce trap doors and you'll notice spruce trap doors are going to be a common theme in this video <laughs> i'm sorry if you don't like spruce trap doors but uh, this isn't a video for you then anyway moving on we got a cool little armor stand cupboard type shelf thing here. I don't know what you would call this. But yeah, I found it's really cool to to use the trapdoors as shelves or cupboards. Even you can use them as shelves on the walls. Just place like, you go like you place two like that, then oh, two more on top like that. And it just looks cool on your world. And this is just literally half, uh, not half, sorry, upside down stairs facing my way against the wall on top of that I placed the armor stand a bit on an angle because I think it looks nicer than if it was just straight and then I just uh, put trap oh, put trap doors on the side like that close them all on top just put some more trap doors then I put these in a zigzag because it looks nicer you could actually put these like get rid of that put this barrel right here and then you could add another armor stand if you wanted to or you could like like furnaces or anything you got space under here, you could break that out and place some more some more storage underneath. Just get some more easy storage because everyone knows that we just run out of storage all the time in survival, which gets really, really frustrating sometimes. Especially when you have your all them boxes of cobblestone after you've gone mining. <laughs> and yeah, just put another little lantern on top and my favourite plant that goes in the plant pot, which is the jungle sapling. Anyway, moving on. This I found this on Pinterest and I found it looks really cool. It's just a dark concrete block. You can just place any dark block there. You don't even have to do a dark block. You can use like stone, anything. And then just put some black banners all around it. With a lantern hanging from that. On top here is just some iron bars. What are they called? Yeah, iron bars. And a hopper on top that you go. I had to place it from above facing down. And yeah, I thought this would look really nice in a really long hallway. And if you have a boring wall, you can also add like something like this onto the wall. That would give it a bit more texture to your wall, because if you just have a blank wall, it look really boring. So that's just some slabs going staircase up like that. And then the same on top. And some fences and just a little picture there. Anyway, if you like kitchens for your world as well, this is a really cool one. As you can tell, it's like animated as well, because it's got the campfires underneath. So I just place campfires underneath, but I place them two blocks down because if you place them just there, look, as you as you can see, I think it will do. Yeah, I find it does too much smoke. Oh, it's not now. Never mind. I think this is. It depends on the height that you place them. Oh yeah. See, if if you place them too high, they just make too much smoke in my opinion, and then it looks kind of silly. So I place it uh, two blocks underneath, and then it will it will just do a little bit of smoke just to make it look nice. And on top, like in my other video, I'd done two slabs and a chimney out of stone bricks. The background here is just a polished andesite and just stone bricks. Is it stone bricks? Yeah, stone bricks, sorry. Oh, these are clay bricks. No, brick wall, that's it. Ah, oh, keep forgetting the fences. It's, it's really irritating. This is a fence. This is a wall. I need to get that in my head. And for a cupboard, it's just trap doors with some more barrels up top like that. So you're going to get some more storage. And behind here as well, some more storage. I really like the animation of the barrels when you open and close them. They have that little open texture thing. It looks really cool. And also sea pickles, because sea pickles look really good in kitchens. And even on tables as well, because they look like mugs or anything. Just a nice little decoration. And yeah, of course, the, pl 
plant pot with the sapling in it. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one that really likes that because I find I don't know, I find it looks really cool. I'd like to see more of that. Everyone just pots flowers in it. Nobody pots saplings. Anyway, moving on. This is some nice little uh, bed slash workstation. You could add like a furnace behind here, which, which would probably help as well. So you can get everything that you need in this one little area. This is a, was it? Three by three, which is really cool. Anyway, you can climb up here. You don't have to. You can probably reach it from the bottom when you want to sleep. Yeah, you can just reach it from the bottom. A nice little lectern here. I find it looks cool. Gives a bit more detail to the build. As usual, trap doors everywhere because it just looks nice and clean on the side. Because if you just have a big block, it would just look really bulky. So in my opinion, trap doors are the way to go when you're trying to build some nice stylish buildings or decoration type things, as you can tell over here as well. Anyway, half stair here with a crafting bench underneath. And that's about it, really. Just trap doors all on the sides here. That's a, that's a staircase, yeah. That's it. Oh, and some barrels behind for some extra storage. And that's it. That's about it, really. Anyway, moving on. As I said, trapdoors, they just do some magic work with building in this game. As you can tell, I find this build really cool, to be honest. You've got a nice little aquarium behind there, as you can see, with all the fishies. Just swimming around your, your nice, beautiful campfire. A nice fireplace. This is an upside-down stair. Um... You could potentially break this. Oh no, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> I'm silly. I forgot about the aquarium. But yeah, it's an upside down stair here. Just to give it a bit more detail. Because if you just put a block there, it looks silly. You could also put a slab, I guess. It, whatever you prefer. And you just break, punch the wall behind there. Just so you have enough for the water. And then you place glass all around the side like this. I put lanterns here for some extra lighting. Ooh, spooky. Anyway, for some extra lighting. And then I place the normal staircase going this way, then one upside down on top there. Then I put a trap door here, just like that, poof. Then on top I placed another trap door, then that's a slab, that's a block, that's an upside down staircase, and a trap door on top of that as well, just to give it a bit more shape to it, because then it looks a bit flat like that. Then you've got a bit more shape, see? Simple. Anyway, here's another trap door as well. Upside down stairs on each side, because if you don't do that, I find it just looks too, too, like, empty, really. Just so, poof, poof, like that. Grab one of them, and on top. There you go. Oh, and some iron bars here to save, save all the logs that burnt, and so they don't fall out of the campfire and burn your house down. <laughs> Luckily, that's not a feature, because if not, we'd be screwed, I think. Here is some more cupboard variations that I thought are quite cool as well. This is just a simple cupboard, you can't really do much with it, apart from place some storage here, then you could probably place some storage there if you wanted to as well. But I think the bookshelves make it look a lot nicer than just having barrels behind there. On top, you can place whatever you want. You can place literally anything if you want. You can place uh, a dragon egg on top. If you want to place a dragon egg, you can place a dragon egg on top. Whatever you want. So I just put a lantern. I didn't put a dragon egg because I think it'd look a bit silly, so I put a lantern. But this, I find this one's really cool because look, there you go. That's a way to store your your uh, uh, your armor. And if you, do, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And there you go. Sorry, I need to get my. <laughs> I broke the doors back. And but if you um, just crouch here, a shift or crouch, whatever you call it, then just you can place the doorways there so they're nice and flush with the build. So yeah, then you have a nice little storage for your armor for when you have like some really nice valuable armor that you want to hide. Just place it behind these doors and there you go. And then you got some extra storage here. You can place like some lights behind here so it glows, like makes the armor glow and all that. It looks really nice. But yeah, just put some barrels for some extra storage as usual. Like there, there, like there is right here, extra storage with some barrels. These signs are placed on the sides of here. Uh, sorry, on the on here, sorry, my bad. I place them on, on these blocks here and they just place at the bottom because like this trap door is on the the bottom block here is not on the top one, so that's how it works. Anyway, but you can't place anything on top of ooh, on top of this one because this one is used to cover the top here like that. See, it's not on the same level. And there you go. Here's another cool like little workstation area. It would fit nicely if you have a big hole like in your wall in between two pillars. You can place this. Um, just some simple shelving again. 
I find this is really cool. It's just so simple but so efficient and it looks cool as well. So I've done the, the old trick of of the item frame, which I just noticed I forgot to place this on top. Whoops. My bad. There you go. Now it looks better. Now you got the set of drawers, which actually work as storage as well. Then just a simple lectern here with a book inside of it, just to make it look cool. You can say I don't know. I don't know how you type in this to be honest. <laughs> I'd never use it. But yeah, that's it. Then I put a, a painting there as if uh, there was like some artist station here. And of course, the jungle sapling because it looks the best. Can't tell me otherwise. Uh, you don't need to take note of this table, but if you want to know how it's made, it's just uh, upside down stair this way, then upside down facing that way so it connects to it. Then the same on this side, then just trapdoors along. Here you got a plant pot. Here you got a book, but the thing was, it was, oh, what does that say? Oh, I think you guys should subscribe. <laughs> anyway, uh, the th cool thing about this, these lamps here, I just find it's it's got a nice lampshade with these signs like this. It's nice and easy. You just place the lamp, uh, the lantern hanging from the metal bar, and you can place signs around it. And I find it look, it just looks like a nice lampshade. That's my favorite one out of all of them. And then you got this one that's got more of a support with the hopper. It's the same thing. Just get rid of that and place uh, the hopper from above. You have to place it looking down. And that's it. That's just as simple as it. And this is just a grindstone with a lantern. And that's it. Just grindstone and a lantern. There's nothing to it. Grindstone just place it like that and there. Done. I'm guessing you guys wanted to find out how to build this cute thing here. It's really good hot tub because you can just sit in it like this there you go see and you got bubbles coming out you should have some smoke from time to time which is meant to be like the steam effect and all it is oh I shouldn't have done that but all it is really is just oh go away it's stair going this way one going that way one going that way one going that way then I placed tracks on all corners and on every corner I placed a minecart and then I after I placed the minecart I broke the rails that were underneath and then all I had to do was grab a a stair like this a piston and a redstone torch so I placed that like that then let's say this was where it was how do you do it yeah like that then you just place a minecart imagine the minecart was there it this will will push into the minecart so it'll make it like a one block like this they will just combine to each other and then the, the stair will automatically connect to the other stairs and then all you have to do is just sit in it and have fun i guess it's a nice cool little decoration piece for your world and to make the bubbles i just put some soul sand underneath and then underneath here i put some more campfires just for some extra effects with the steam if you want some more steam, just do it like that. Well, you have to bring the thing up closer, but there you go, see? you got some steam effect. This is some cool little garden swinging chair that I thought looked really cool. I keep seeing this one on, on like Reddit with the, um, the train tracks, uh, the rails, I mean, the minecart rails on the top. But you can't do that in vanilla, I'm pretty sure. Either that or it's like a texture pack that makes it look like it's that way. But yeah, this is just a, a different variation, which is easy to make. You just put some iron bars there. You go underneath, place this facing upwards. I, I place a block in the middle here to help me place the other stuff. Then I place another another trapdoor underneath, underneath the block that I would place here, like there. I go like here, go ahead. Then I place it like that, be easier. Then I leave that block, go behind here and place this one. And there you go. Done. Then you break it and that's it. Simple. Just this nice simple little garden chair that you can put hanging from a custom tree that you built or something like that. And here is a, another cool bed design that I found also. This was on Pinterest. Shout out to the guy that made this on Pinterest. I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. But what you do, these are banners, but you, you place them two blocks, uh, a block underneath and then you, then you can place the stairs. And once you, you've done that, you can place the stairs, but keep in mind you need to put a light source behind, because if not, these turn black. If you have a... well, no, it doesn't work, because the 
pillow doesn't stay black, does it? But if you want black pillows, you can do that, I guess. Or you can just change the color of the banners, whatever color you want pillows. But uh, place a light underneath, if not, they'll just go black. But I don't have the, the stairs anymore. But yeah, that's it. Just place the banners to, on a bit of an angle, like that. Then place the staircase, and that's it, done. Then I place some trapdoors, which are not spruce ones, as you notice. They're actually dark oak for once. Thought I'd change it. And then I place the loom here. You could do a different style of um, cabinet, like with trapdoors, but uh, I'm too close to the bed, and then I didn't want to go over this side and make it bulk out the side there. So I just done a loom with a button on it because I find looms look like big drawers. Got the two little drawers here, and that's it. Then I placed a lantern on top, and that's about it, really. I think that's the, the that's all. <laughs> that's all for this episode. Anyway, if you guys enjoy, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for some more videos. Peace.